Hello, howdy folks! Welcome back to Battle Brothers. The Saturnine just tested their metal against a pretty... Sub oh, what's this? A brigand leader, lots of raiders, and some marksmen. You know, I kind of just want to jump right into it. But we are a bit battered up. So let's take a look at what we're doing here. Let's see, what was I talking about? We just tested our metal against a sizable force of skeletons, and I feel like we're ready to take on uh, more of uh, that kind of thing. Mostly legionaries and and things like that. I don't want to get... Let's repair that. These sell for a lot. I don't want to get stupid and overconfident, but I think we can handle uh, um, a lot of these ancient auxiliary or uh, legionary uh, dungeons that are around on the map. Anyway, okay, so let's... Let's get Ike. And, well, it's not the best. It's definitely not the best, but they're just bandits. Maybe we can get Leonard in here if we're fighting some just bandits. We don't need hacking. Why don't we get in Rainer here? And maybe Kettleman can sit this one out and we'll get Leonard in. Let's, uh, whoops. Go back to our... What's going on here? Well, I guess we'll just get Thelman on the front. He's super slow anyway. I still don't know what to do with Karsten. I'm, I'm seriously considering quick hands and then giving him, like, all sorts of different pole arms. Or at least, like, a long axe. But I don't know if you really need quick hands for that. It's only going to be 4 AP, like, once a battle. But still thinking on it. Do not know what to do. How often is it that you have a perk that you don't know what to do with? Not often, I would say. Let's bust out some tower shields. Don't want to be getting shot by any crossbows if we can help it. Looks good to me. Sure. The armor reduction is not the best, but I think we're going to be okay. How are we doing on ammo? We only have 27 ammo left, which is not not the best. 17 brigands, by the way. How interesting is that? Let's uh, just kind of sit here, do some repairs while they come at us. Let's, uh, let's get started here. Let's see what this brigand leader has. Oh, it's like a blizzard. How cool is that? We've got two decent crossbows. I don't like that at all, but this doofus jumped out right in the open. Ingolf, do your thing, please. One more thing? Not quite. Ooh, he's out in the open as well. So is he. We've got another noble sword. Okay. And that's actually a decent helmet. I think we're going to try and nab that one. Wow, they are going very full on the offensive. Very full on the offensive. Interesting. Can't quite get these crossbows. Let's see if we can polish off that marksman back there. Great. It's just one less thing raining arrows at us. Magnus. Suppose we'll go after that guy. If, if we hit the guy with the hammer, that's not the worst thing in the world. There we go. Rainer. Wow, we almost finished that man off. I think everyone else is just going to wait. They're coming right at us. Yeah, we're going to be eating up a couple more bolts, it looks like. Hey, all right. Oh, there's one more in the back. I must have missed him. Yeah, they're taking a lot of cheap shots at Duke there. I'm not, not happy about that. Let's just wait with our archers. Now that, uh, now that they've all gone, if their bodyguards move out, we're going to have some clear shots. Really? Stop it. Oh, man. They really bit off a little bit more than they could chew, I hope. Let's wait with Wolf. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. 
All right, Karsten. This could be an instant kill. Yeah. Karsten kind of has that effect. Let's bring it down on him as well. And start focus firing on these guys. Yeah, I think Ingolf and Wolf will shoot him, and then Magnus and Raynor will shoot down here. Good. We'll just wait with Alfred. Raynor, can we finish him off maybe? Great. And Duke, we're going to go for the old strike through for sure. No dice. Egil? No. I guess we'll get Leonard out here on the flank for now. Sure. I can't wait to have another noble sword. We have a we have a couple more bros that need those, especially like Alfred. I want to see if we can get that helmet. So we're gonna end up daggering that man down. I I uh, expect. If that's the case, I think what we're gonna do is just move in. I was planning on doing some some swings. Well, you know what? If he steps in last, then we will end up swinging. So we'll just wait. Jost, you could probably just kill someone. <gasps> Almost. Broken arm. <laughs> You're damn right. Thilman puts that man down out of his misery. That's good. Ingolf. One more Ingolf. Sweet. Okay, no more crossbows. We know that. I bet you we could kill him too. Nice. Okay. We'll get out the old long axe. Why don't we just break that guy's shield? And we'll wait and see what they do. Boy, they got wrecked this round. Absolutely wrecked. Archer moves up, stands on his dead friend. All right, yeah, he moves in on Ike. Yeah, that raider is not excited to move in on Ike, it looks like. Can't say I blame him. Let's take a shot at him in the back. Hmm, not quite. I think we'll switch to our long axe and start helping out here on the shield wall. Let's break his because he's wasted the fatigue. And Eagle will take some shots over there in the back. Let's see, with Ike, it's tempting to get out the dagger, but there's plenty of raiders that need killing. So I think we're just gonna wait. I don't wanna hit his helmet. I want that helmet. Karsten, maybe another one hit KO? No. 7% miss, okay. Rainer, let's work on him if we can. There we go, we have the total range superiority now. Let's move in here with Alfred and start kind of cleaning up a bit. He's just got a kind of a boring old arming sword there. And Leonard, you do not have the best defenses. That much is certain. Do you have a dagger? You do. Okay. I don't think we're going to need to net this guy. He's not really wearing... He's not a particular threat. So... I think we'll just wait. And Wolf can move up here and start working on that shield. Usual work him over a bit. Okay, Jost. Yeah, this guy's in trouble right here. Oh! Crushed windpipe. <laughs> Duke. Let's go for that 78. Oh, man. We are brutalizing these raiders. And Thilman can probably sneak in a kill here. Yep. We're just going to wait with everyone else, I, I guess. Oh, yeah. Zombie time. All the zombie archers. Wow, Thilman. I, 
I must have forgot his, he's a little beaten on. I don't think he took that much damage in this fight. They're wasting all their throwing items at the zombies behind their lines. That works for me. Why don't we take some shots at that man with the hooked blade? I would rather not get hit by that. Ouch. All right, Ike, let's get out. Let's get out your Rondell dagger. 15%. Okay. Let's move in Leonard here and get out his dagger. Karsten. Oh! Fatality right there. Fatality. Let's go ahead and wait. And Rainer. I think I want to take some shots at the hook blade with you as well. There we go. And Magnus, why don't you break that chump's shield as well? Alfred, there's another kill. We'll step in on these guys and start working on them soon. And I want to get Eagle on up here to get on Tostig. Let's break his shield. Joss, wallop that man. No problem. And I guess we'll start moving in. Same with Duke. We'll get him in there. And Philman can move in to kill him. All right, Ike. Le uh, Leonard's out of uh, juice there. We'll just move up Karsten and Magnus as well. Great. Well, we're bandits. I mean, until they start bringing hedge knights, I think we might be well out of the realm of finding these guys as a threat. Wow, that's... They all came up as zombies up there for the most part. Alright, Ingolf. I suppose we'll just step up and get out your long axe. And break that one's shield. Ike. 70%. Oh yeah, we're piling on that damage really fast. And tons of injuries as well. Karsten. We'll just go after this zombie, I suppose. And Alfred. Yeah, that zombie has a hammer. I don't like that at all. Rainer, I guess we'll just conserve ammo and get out the hooked blade. And Eagle, let's work on that hammer. We don't want that thing alive. Joss, let's uh, work on mushing that one and move up. Oh yeah, he broke. Doesn't like it. Let's go for a strike through right here. <laughs> Boy, Duke. You poor guy. We'll get Magnus up. And take a shot at him. And Wolf, you know, you can just rest. Thelman, work him down a bit. Oh, he's getting away. He's definitely getting away. More zombies? Okay. Tostig's not, not in a good mood. That zombie chases him down for us. That's a uh, mighty kind of him. Ike. He's down. We'll step in with Alfred here and put him down. Rainer. Not quite on the kill there, I see. Let's get Eagle up right in the mix of it. And Karsten can work on this zombie. Boy, zombies have so much health. Wolf, you can keep resting. Ingolf, step up and kill him. Sure. Joss, push that zombie. Great. And I think Leonard and Ike will wait because it seems likely he's going to come back as a zombie. Let's step up with Magnus. And step up with Duke. I want to get rid of that hammer. And Thelman can move in on these two. Yep, he puts that man down. He's getting away. I don't really care too much. And I think that's it with this turn. 
Good, they're helping with the zombies, except for him. Of course, he's out of here. Karsten. Let's just wait, and Alfred. Not quite on the damage there. Let's move in. Nope. Usual. There we go. He drops his guard, and... Oh, Ingolf doesn't have enough energy for that, it seems. Let's go ahead and mush this thing. It's dead. I continue waiting, Thelman. Didn't quite put it down. Let's get on over here with Magnus. And Duke can move on up. Slam on his head. Oh, damn it. I was hoping to... Uh, we got so close to finishing this. But now we are so far. What a shame. No real options for Wolf here. Let's keep waiting. We'll get Karsten down here to help out. And why don't we wait with these ones? We'll wait with Ingolf. Alfred, why don't you step in and get out your knife? Yidril, step on in. Yeah, we can't get out the Rondell with you. Rainer, just wait right there. I'm sure there's going to be zombies a popping up. We'll recover. Magnus can miss that shot, I suppose. That one's dead. Duke, why don't you go ahead and recover? Let's, uh, yeah, there we go. Oy, oy, oy. We're gonna have to fight all the bandits all over again by the look of it. Let's get Wolf in there. Ingolf. Alright. Oh, he's trying to nom on us. We can't allow that. Alfred, can we do some damage? Okay. Rainer, great. Karsten, great. Joss, put the hurt on that one. And Duke, I suppose we could go for a swing. Yeah, there we go. Let's get our rondo with uh, Egil here. A little bit more damage. It's down, that's great. There we go. Beautiful. Rainer and Ingolf both get levels. And we got the nasal helmet. Beautiful. And the noble sword. We got everything we wanted. Ooh. Uh, we almost hit end there. That would have sucked. Why don't we return that for the helmet? Let's get rid of these hatchets. They're no good. We'll pick up those. What else isn't any good here? Let's get rid of these, uh... Bad shields. We'll pick up some of this gear. Sure. That should do it. Alright. 70 tools. Ingle, final level. Plus four on that range. That's great. Four more fatigue. No sense in complaining about that. And I think we're going to pick up this four hit points. That's a good roll. Bringing you up to 76. I like it. What do we do with Ingolf? I have no idea. Oh! I suppose we'll get Throwing Mastery. We we took... I mean, we might as... I mean... How many more times am I going to say I mean here? So far, throwing stuff seems really bad. But we came this far, so why don't we finish... Why don't we finish the experiment? It does look like a pretty substantial increase in damage at point blank range with the axes, so... You know, we'll try it out. We'll try it out. Rainer, level 10. There we go, that looks good. Let's get that range defense again. And... I suppose... Uh, sure, we'll get that fatigue. What do we want to do with Rainer here? He's just going to be a standard archer.
Maybe a bit of the old quick hands? That's pretty handy for archers. They can switch out to their pole arms, they can grab fresh arrows without slowing down. Let's go ahead and get quick hands. And that's it. Wow, we have another level 11. It's finally happening. Okay, let's start repairing up some loot here. Things that sell for a lot. And why don't we hand... I guess we'll give Kettleman the Noble Sword for now. We'll pair that sucker up. We're gonna use up all our tools here, but it should, should pay out pretty well. Now that didn't we get another helmet, where is it? There it is. 200, minus two vision, huh? Is anyone gonna be able to use that? 210. Maybe it's not as good as I thought it would be. Twelve fatigue? Is there anyone who like desperately needs the fatigue? Not really, honestly, except maybe Leonard because oh he does have the brawny, he's just low level. Well, it's not as good as I thought it would be. But it is decent. We'll probably hold on to it for, I don't know, someone? Maybe we'll just give it to Torsten? We could just throw that on him for now? Sure. Sure. If we even keep him? I don't know. I'm still on the fence about this guy. Definitely still on the fence. But anyway, that's enough dilly-dallying. Why don't we get moving here? Hopefully we can be unbothered for at least a few days while we repair all our gear. The sack stores company is moving through, probably means the road's clear, so let's get on into Wolf Hayden. Ambush trade routes, really now? That still is not not good sell prices. Let's offload just some of the junk. Stuff that's not gonna sell for a lot no matter where we take it. That should do. We have a couple of inventory slots left. Let's pick up the food that we came for. And hit the road. We do have another thief. Why don't we pick him up and see what he's good at? Well, I can't... With that much range defense, I mean, honestly, what are you supposed to do with that? Nah. Nah. It's just 200 gold, no worries. No worries at all. Let's sell that stuff before we get moving. We gotta get out of the north, I think. Isn't, there was uh, frightfully little to do up here. So we'll head to Torvaholm and kind of just make our way back down south where we know all the fun is. Let's just make sure we're doing uh, this uh, slightly safe. I do need to get ammo. We cannot forget about ammo. I just don't want to spend like a boatload on it from like an ambush trade route uh, city. Tour of a home. We've got a... No, I'm not doing retired soldiers. A raider for 2,000. Oh, there we go. Let's take up Volker here. Spartan. Tons of fatigue. Some melee skill. Close, but but no cigar, really. It was close, but I'm always willing to spend money on a wildman to see what he looks like. 
I wouldn't mind trying a deserter. They have decent stats, except... I mean, their uh, resolve is pretty bad, but they have good, like, um, melee and uh, defense and stuff like that. For 500, could be worth a gander. A raider could be nice as well. 3,000. That is a pretty good deal. And they have uh, a huge amount of melee skill out the gate. Why don't we pick him up and see what he's all about? He's a drunkard, initiative, resolve. Oh man, we got... Disloyal. His melee skill would be 60. But with stars and resolve and initiative and health, that's pretty lame. We already have a duelist wannabe who's going to be better at it. Pretty bad on the fatigue as well. Well, I can't say I'm impressed with wall room. There's another fantastic waste of coin. Why don't we try out Halstein here? Well, he's got good fatigue and promising melee skill. That resolve is like very bad, even for a deserter. That's pretty bad, I think. What? I mean, these are not bad defenses. He can wear some very heavy armor. But that resolve, though, is pretty fantastically bad. It's not like it's totally unexpected for what his background is. That's a good, I mean, fatigue and melee skill. Pretty, pretty excellent stuff there. Pretty excellent stuff. And he's always happy with being reserved, which is a bonus I really like. Halston, huh? Well... If we babysit him for a little while and see how he turns out mainly in the resolve sector, he may be a keeper. He's only charging 15 a day, and he's happy to be in, res in um, reserves, so I think we'll keep him around and... and See what we could do with them. We need more pole arms, though, so that these uh, these guys are easier to babysit. That much is certain. Let's get our full plate back on Ike. Alfred, weren't you wearing uh, the decayed coat? Yeah, but we're still repairing that one up. Okay. Well, not the best. But I feel like after we spend, you know, thousands and thousands of gold that we should at least keep some of these guys around. 
Although I'm, I'm a stickler for quality over quantity. How are we doing here? Nothing exciting for the most part. Don't they have a weaponsmith? Yeah, let's check the weaponsmith. Nah. We do need more long axes, but I'm not sure if I'm like ready to just drop all our money on that kind of stuff. Not very good sell prices. Let's go ahead and move on. Oh, wait a minute. Did we check for tools? 228? Yeah, let's buy some tools there. Some more food. Why don't we get some beer? Yeah, that'll be nice. Bill hook for a little bit cheap. I care more about long axes right now because I want to start fighting some skeletons. Anyway, let's hit the road and get on into Tangweir before we head south. Yeah, we're we're good on tools and stuff. Hey, even more good on tools. Nothing exciting there. Oops, that's the kennel. I don't we have dogs aplenty. We have all the... Let's pick up one bundle of arrows just so we're on the safe side. Can't sell anything here, so let's get moving. No need to dilly-dally. What was that? Some armored Wienergangers, some fallen heroes, and many ancient legionaries. No, I don't think I'm into that one. And it looks like the Wolfhaden Company had a gnarly fight. Who knows what they fought, but good lord, it's not often you see these companies are battered like that. It's probably a bunch of uh, vampires and stuff, if I had to take a guess there. Let's pop into Mordorf before nightfall, hopefully. Come on! Uh, yeah, we made it. Okay. Alright, market. Not the best. Not the best deals. We'll pop on over. I want to get to um, Blankenstadt so we can sell. Need to unload and then we'll start. Uh, well, maybe we can fit in a, another battle into this episode, I hope. Anyway. Wolf Hayden Company moving through. Great. What is this place again? Ancient Legionary, a plethora, by the way, and some Necro Savants. Well, I'd take it on, but the Necro Savants are a big turnoff. I don't have enough melee. If I had like um, a like a, a more dedicated back line against Necro Savants, I wouldn't want to field any archers against Necro Savants for the most part, anyway. How's our armor doing? Yeah, we can throw it on again before I forget. Yeah, we need, we need to train up more uh, melee bros before we take on, like, getting surrounded by skeletons and stuff. Let's get on to Filestein here. Anything we want to do? Yeah, let's grab some tools. The trade goods are a little bit expensive. How's the ammo? I didn't check. 156. There's got to be somewhere we can buy ammo. Maybe Blankenstadt? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll head on over there. I think they have a tavern as well. Maybe we can find out a good location for some, you know, some good old plunder. Anyone worth picking up here? Definitely not. The marketplace. 245. You know what? I think we'll offload here. Let's do it. Sure. Lots of money that we kind of, you know, desperately needed a bit. These helmets sell really nicely, that's for sure. Let's get rid of all this garbage. All right, we got a couple of weeks pay there. Let's sell that. Yeah, a good couple weeks pay. I won't complain about that. Let's hit the uh, tavern. Why don't we have a drink? Ancient burial site on the plains southeast of here. Ha! 
Hide out of the insane master some way west of here. That says full of treasure. That seems pretty promising. Why don't we go and check that out? I don't know where it could be. Could be in the swamps. That would not be good. Prob maybe. It depends. The swamps is largely RNG, but sometimes if you can set up like on an edge and keep all of your enemies in the uh, in the murky water, you can you can butcher stuff like pretty well. We're just gonna like be poking around in the swamps at night. Yeah, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Something insane master, right? Some ways west of here. A necromancer, a plethora of armored weeder gangers, and a few fallen heroes. We can try it. Some geists, of course, but that's nothing we haven't done before. We're definitely going to want... Hacking. We're definitely going to want our shields. Do we want Leonard in on this one? He's a promising bro. There's a mostly check on the resolve. Cattleman's got some serious resolve, though. I think we're gonna drop Wolf. Wolf doesn't have quite the melee skill I want out of a long axe. At least in kind of a, a pitched battle. I like Wolf, though. He's, he's a great shot, that's for sure. We need our anti-necromancer bowman. Do we need Magnus? Or do we want Kettleman, who's got some good resolve? I think we want to bring in Kettleman instead. Maybe like that. We'll get Thilman on the in the back as backup. I think we'll do that. You know, I'm considering moving Egil onto the Warhammer and getting Mastery, because he's got some pretty good fatigue, and with Mastery, he can um, he can do some serious damage to enemy armor units. He's not the best aim, but I guess we'll see what happens at level 11. Then again, he's not. He's not like he's perfectly specced for that kind of thing. We might end up taking Taunt or Recover. Recover might be nice so that we can do Indomitable a lot. Guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's check armor. Everyone repaired? Certainly looks to be the case. Oh, did I? S oh, wait, I gave our, our uh, helmet to Torsten here. Okay. Ike is actually in a good mood. Hopefully he's not going to pansy out in this fight as he usually does and get someone killed in the process. I think we're ready to do this. Let's get into the hideout of the insane master. What could go wrong? One final check. Okay. Okay, let's get in here. Joy of joys. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain about this positioning. Not at all. 
It's going to take a while for these four guys to crawl up here, though. That's not good. We got a fighting X. Flanged mace and some full plate. Why don't we take a shot at that Geist and maybe draw it out? Let's just take two shots, I suppose. Hacken, I need you to pull back and make room. Karsten, you're in a pretty excellent spot as it is. You can hit those tiles, this tile. Provided the Geists don't turn this into an absolute uh, freak show, this could work out pretty well. See, we've got Thelman, Kettleman down there. Is Jost in a hole? Yeah, he is. Attaboy, Jost. I would like to have some sort of... Well, I guess Duke and Ike are pretty decent tanks. I just Let's just get um, Egil out of the way for now. He can come in and rotate someone out, maybe. Alfred. Yeah, come on up there. Ike. Come on up there. And Leonard. I guess we'll start moving you around the back. Yeah, not not ideal. That that much is for sure. How many action points does Ike have? Too. He's not going to be able to climb up anyway, so I don't need to make room for him. Cuddlemond, let's get you down over there. Hopefully this super zombie. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling he would do that. Okay, Joss, let's climb on up there. Beautiful. This might make for another long episode, but I don't know. Netflix has uh, one hour episodes of just about everything and people seem to be watching so I, I guess that seems to be, to be an okay length. 30 minutes for like a Battle Brothers episode is really tight. It's really hard to make that happen. Filmin! I mean, you're in an okay spot for now so we'll just leave you there until that changes. I'm feeling pretty good about this battle. It looks like there's only three guys. There could be four. It looks like there's probably four, actually. Yeah, that one moves in at us. That's kind of convenient. Let's get... Oh, well, Hacken's in a good spot for now. Let's move down one. Karsten, you can stay there. Rainer, you can't quite get up. Egil, let's just make some room, and Ike. Just stay there. It's not ideal, that's for sure. Um, especially a possessed zombie, I think they have bonuses to hit. At least it would seem to be the case. So, it might be tough for Ike to get up to the high ground, which I don't like at all. Be that as it may, we do need to make room for Ike. That much is certain. So let's get just Duke out of the way. And everyone else can wait. I think that's it for this turn. Yeah, he's going after Ike there. We don't like any of that, but Ike's, you know, he's a crafty fella. Start taking some pot shots at that necromancer. Well, all right. Uh, 
Let's wait with Karsten. Rainer, you need to start working your way up here super fast. I'd like to get you right there. And let's do that. Hacken, continue waiting. These guys are going to be very annoying, but I... Well, there's four of them, so they're, they're going to be annoying pretty much forever. Okay, Leonard. Just climb on up. And Ike. Nice. Nice. We're in a pretty good spot then. Ejil. I think we'll leave you here and then... We do have Kettleman down there. So Ejil's going to stay here and rotate anyone out who gets in trouble. Alfred, go ahead and keep waiting. Keep waiting with Thilman. These guys are going to be the worst. It's nice that we have the hill, but that does put us on the defensive. And with Geist, you usually have to be very offensive. So we're just going to have to see how that plays out. We might just, like, kill a few of them, get a couple rallies off, and then push in and drop dogs. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. We have regular dogs, right? Yeah, okay. Hopefully we get some loot out of this. Ah, oh, damn it, that fallen hero moves in. That fighting axe is going to be worth a couple bucks, that's for sure. I think I want to get Duke down here. Everyone's resting up, ready to probably engage into some pretty nasty fighting. Ah, look at Ike. He's just laughing. Now the guys, oh, that one goes right in for Kettlemond. Let's keep shooting that necromancer. It's the utmost importance. Let's wait with Karsten here. Rainer? Damn, we're gonna have to start doing aim shots over there. That's gonna take a while. Hacken, just stay as you are. How much are we getting from Hacken? Ten more resolve? That's pretty nice. Just hang out with Ejil. I think we'll get Leonard on down here to plug that gap. And Alfred, yeah, it's time to start fighting. Here they come. Ike, yeah, I don't like that one with the mace, so let's put him down, or not quite. Man, that's a lot of one hits left type things. Kettleman, great. One Geist is down already. Go after that zombie. Duke, you're just, you're in a good spot. I think. I think we'll move you down one. Thelman, yeah, we'll get fighting with you. That one with the fighting axe is moving around, so Eagle's probably going to have to hold that one off. And it's definitely Karsten's time to shine here. Got that killing frenzy up. Mm -hmm. 
I guess we'll have to see where these geists go. So Hacken, you're just in, a, in an okay spot there. And Ejol, go and hold the high ground against that one. I think that's it. Looks like they left the Necromancer a little bit exposed there. That's an odd maneuver. It must be a bug. He thinks he's covering the Necromancer, but I don't think he is. Yeah, he's not. Definitely time to take those shots. One hit, good. Another 77. Oh, almost got him. Very unfortunate. I don't know what these geists are doing. They're not playing it smart this time around. This could be a freebie. That would be nice uh, considering how our last uh, scuffle with the undead was. There goes another one. A lot of confident flags are going up. Karsten's just... He's doing exactly what I envisioned him doing all those uh, weeks ago <laughs> when we picked him up. Ike, sure, just kill him. Get that killing frenzy going. Joss, not yet with you. And I think I want to get Leonard here instead. I don't want these fallen heroes ever having the high or the equal footing with us. Alfred, yep, just put out some damage there, sir. Oh, that fallen hero might end up going right there. That would be unfortunate. A lot of maces moving up. I can't say I'm happy about that. Let's go after it. We don't want any more fatigue loss than we have to have. Thelman, sure, do some damage. You know, I'm... I think I might change my mind about Thilman. He might be a keeper. I know he's a little on the slow side, but his stats are excellent. And I know we wasted uh, talent on the Pathfinder, but I think he could turn out if we just kind of keep at it. Let's go ahead and stab that guy a little bit. Duke. I'm tempted to go for that full plate and try and keep it. Very tempted to try that. Daggering it down. We could use an extra set of it. That much is certain. So we'll ignore him for now, and if it gets if it gets too bad, we'll just we'll kill him anyway. Okay, Egil. Not the best start over there for you, sir. Ike, you're done. Joss! Can we like shatter these two? Boom! That'll do. And Leonard. Just put some damage on there. Yeah, we're... Oh, another Geist moves up. And that's actually a very unfortunate spot. I don't think we can easily get to him. Ingolf, can you just shut that man down, please? Thank you. That eliminates a lot of nonsense... suppose we'll just take some shots at these geists. Maybe it'll taunt them into coming up a little closer. I don't know. I heard a geist scream. Did that? It looks like it didn't affect anyone. That's not bad. Did they both go? Turn, done, turn, done. I guess we'll go ahead and sneak in a little bit of a stab there. And Karsten, yeah, we can't get that one. So let's kill him. Wow, that was definitely a kill. Look at all these confident flags. This is definitely a freebie. And why don't we chop that one's armor off? Beautiful. Duke, let's just go for the old one hit kill there. Ike. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Scramasax. 
Look at Ike, he's not even getting tired. Not even getting tired. I think I'm gonna leave Alfred there for now, but it won't be long until I want to move in on these geists. Egil, I have no fear that Egil can probably kill that guy by himself. Although he's taking a shot. Is that this fight? Hmm. Leonard? You're not the most defensible guy, so just wait for these zombies to come up there and you can hold them off for us. Cuddleman now. Um, with Cuddleman... Let's see if we can kill this. Damn it. Well... Just mush that one. And then I think we're gonna take a step down. Thelman, let's take a step down go after this geist. Beautiful. Yep. Egil's a rock solid up there, just his name's- Ooh, this one's trying to get, you know, a little clever on us. Let's go ahead and move Hacken up here, just to keep everyone a little bit happy. Alfred, put on some damage, and Leonard. Yeah, step down on these guys now and start fighting. Thelman, uh, he can't move. Okay, Ingolf. Just has a little bit of the willies there. Let's just switch to our axes, conserve some ammo, deal some damage. That'll work. Hack and step on up. There we go, another one down. Ike. We'll go after that one. Wow. Wow. 12 fatigue, by the way, and he's just been demolishing things up there. Duke. Not the best situation for you, Duke. Get out your dagger. What's that looking like? 38%? Sure. Let's just start doing that for the rest of the fight. Egil up here. Keep hurting him. Leonard. We'll go after that one. He's already hurt. And Karsten. Just try and clear the way a little bit. Gentlemen's. Great. That leaves room for Thilman to move in and... Yes! Seals the victory! Joss, give this one the old hammer. Oh, that one moves in quick. That's it with this round, okay. Yeah, we're gonna be able to speed this one up a bit, I think. Necromancer's down, all the geists are down, only a couple fallen heroes to contend with, I'll take it. Why don't we go ahead and rally Joss there, sure. Ingolf, break that shield. Ooh, Leonard takes a hit, he's getting a little overwhelmed. Actually, Leonard, Leonard's in trouble. Yeah, no, Leonard's definitely in trouble there, we don't want that. Let's go after this guy with Ike, wow, that hurts a lot. Duke, let's just stab that one. Oh, that worked pretty well. Rainer. No, <laughs> two misses in a row with Rainer, not the best. Leonard, can you kill that one? Great. Let's just wait. And Egil over there, keep fending that one off. Let's recover with Karsten. And Alfred, another one down. Killing Frenzy up. God, I love killing Frenzy. Thilman, hurt him a little bit. And Jost, why don't we go ahead and just 
beat the rest of that armor straight off that one. And Kettleman, I want to move in and rotate Leonard out. Yeah, that's going to work. Overall, we're looking pretty golden here. Pretty golden. Couple more zombies come back. Let's step down here with Carson. Get another kill. Duke, 43%. Nope. I'm gonna get Ingolf all the way over here to break that one's shield. And Ike, yep, shut that one down. Rainer, okay. They're just dropping like flies. When we get Alfred on over here to help out, and Jost, I think we'll get you down there to help out as well. Thilman, not quite. Kettleman, let's get your dagger out. Oh, finally, Duke gets hit there a bit. Is that the... Oh, yeah, he comes back. Whatever. Ingolf, boom, shield's broken. Karsten, another, another kill. And we're going to leave Ike here. <laughs> These iron lungs plus mastery, by the way. That's amazing. We'll leave Rain in there. Hacken, what do we want to do with you? I think I want to get you away from there. That's for sure. Yeah, that fallen hero could end up moving up on us. In fact, let's get Alfred there to secure that uh, hill. Ejol, keep doing that thing you do over there. Yeah, I'm leaning more and more towards recovery with Ejol so he could, like, just do what he does forever and ever. Leonard, great. Filming. I think it's time to start moving around there with you. And Joss, yeah, let's get you into place and get out your rondel. All right, Duke, a little bit of a hit there. Oh, he's trying to get Egil off there. I don't think it's going to work for him. Kettleman, why don't we recover with you? And let's get Karsten out of that ditch. I can shut that one down with style. I think that's it with this round. A couple more returning zombies. Or just one, I guess. I can... Guess we'll just wait. Kettleman's? Nope. Okay, he moves in on Ike, that's good. Except, of course, taking one on the head like that, not the best. Philbin, move in, get your dagger out. Ouch, that sounds like it kind of hurt there a bit, didn't it? Let's go ahead and recover. Rainer, ouch, and Ike shuts him down again. This is almost over. Zombies stopped coming back. Let's get over here to help out. Okay, more stabbing over here. I want to get that full plate if we can. Leonard, why don't we get you down there? More surround bonus, sure. Why don't we taunt him? Ah, it worked. Eagle's getting mighty tired over there, Jost. Another round, skip, skip. Karsten, put some hurt on that helmet, that's good. Duke. 
Leonard, you have a dagger, right? Yeah, get yours out. Can you help out a bit? Yeah, took him down. Egil, wrap it up. Hopefully someone can wrap this up before they come back. Let's get recovered. Recover. Yeah, damn it. Oh well, that's fine. We're just gonna rock it right through this. Carson, boom, another hit to the head. That's perfect. We're all recovered up. Let's stab him good. Yep, he's down. Egil shuts him down. That's it. Egil and Duke, level ups. Well, we got some money. And just more decayed stuff. You know, I had I had kind of high hopes there, but, uh, you know, I don't know what I expected. We did get our second uh, kill all the undead thing. Egil, level 11, plus 3, plus 3. Let's go with a plus 4 on that health. Brings you a little bit over 80. Almost 80 melee skill. So much melee defense, I don't even know what to do with it. And I think we're going to go with Recover for you as well. It's a pretty awesome endgame skill. And I think I'm not going to go with the with the hammer. His, the sword helps him a lot um, to deliver some pretty consistent damage. Duke, level 10. Oh, plus 4. That's excellent. Plus 3. Excellent. Oh, plus 4. Excellent. Duke is really turning into quite a boss. If we can get like a mastery with him, plus recover with his massive pool of fatigue, he's going to be able to do special attacks just endlessly. Endlessly. Maybe we can, well, let's see. Uh, we have two more ranks. We could go with Berserk and Mastery so that... He can front load tons and tons of damage. I think we're going to do that. Do we want to go with a with hammer mastery or do we want to go with sword mastery? Just here with the hammer. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but he's been hammering guys pretty darn well. Pretty darn well, I have to say. His aim is incredibly high, which is kind of nice when, I mean, you really need reliable hammering hits. We could get, we could make Duke the another hammerer. But I, I like the, um... The split of the two-handed sword can uh, get a lot of hits in on the back ranks, especially against like skeletons, which is incredibly handy. I think we're going to take that and then Berserk. And then Duke, is he's going to be a killing machine. So let's do that. Boom, it's done. It's definitely done. Great. Well, guys. Wow, we only used 28 tools in that fight. Next episode, we're probably just going to be looking for more trouble. After we get some food, maybe, and some ammo, probably. All right, folks, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.